Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA Action on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. DA, take it away. Thanks very much. Now, Commissioner Adam Silver is continuing to push for the creation of an in-season tournament. He says the notion is to steal a page from European soccer. It's not the Larry O'Brien trophy, but something secondary that teams care about. Something you'd see players go into that extra gear for. Kevin, back to you. That's pretty intriguing, D.A. That's an interesting story. And we thank you for giving it to us. Let's check out Indiana's starting lineup. Jackson and Turner man the post position. Tyrese Halliburton is out there with Buddy Heald. And it's Duarte in at the small forward. And for the Bucks, Giannis and Lopez hold down the post for him. And the wings for him, Matthews and Middleton. And it's Holiday in at the one. Unlike a lot of perimeter-oriented teams, GA offensively, the Bucks can really play inside out. No doubt. And, and teams pack in the lane against Milwaukee, but Giannis in particular is a terrific passer. And if you leave a shooter open, he tends to find it. Healed outside. Back to Halliburton. Rebounded by the Bucks. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm up. Well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check. And it was maybe a step out of his range. Now, here's Matthews. Shot clock at five. 11 feet away. Good. He hits the jump shot. I think Middleton is absolutely dynamic and when he's involved in the pick and roll. He's really skilled at his decision making. He knows when to pass and when to shoot. Halliburton and Turner oh, throws it down. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with a pass. Middleton finds Holiday. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. Halliburton. And now in his 14th NBA season. Just one all-star yeah, appearance for Drew Holiday, but that belies his greatness as a player. This is his first free throw of the game. That free throw, no good. You know, Greg, you can make the case Drew Holiday is the prototypical two-way guard. And, you know, and defense can sometimes go overlooked. Just one all-star game. But Drew's impact perhaps greater than some other players with multiple all-star seasons. He hits the second from the line. You know, in the case of Drew Holiday, having two brothers in the league, I think probably has added motivation for him to excel. Holiday against Halliburton. To the inside, unloads from 13. That one's not going to go. Now the Bucks take it the other way. Loads it up for Giannis. Up high to stuff the alley. Kumpo is so long. I mean, he stretches forever, covers a ton of ground. Jackson passes to heel. Now here's Turner. Jackson dishes to heel. to Jackson and he drops in the layup off the glass and not just a score he'll be solid at reading when his guys are open for a look Middleton outside pass to Matthews and the foul on Miles Turner that is his first foul of the game first personal foul second team foul the Bucks with possession here. Holiday inside the line and good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. There you see the creativity. Holiday is so good at reading pick and rolls and breaking defenses down. It's hard to corral him when he's got the ball in those situations. Now here is Halliburton. Outside Turner fires for three. Abdelkumbo grabs the miss. 
And here's Giannis. He'll bring it up for Milwaukee. It's a three-point game. Matthews passes to Giannis. And the rejection by Jackson. Over to the left wing. Here's Duarte, defended by Middleton. Duarte shot good. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Here's Yacht. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First personal pass. It's going to be on Isaiah Jackson. And, you know, at almost seven feet tall, Antetokounmpo is, is dangerous down inside, really. I mean, the defense has to be physical with him if they want to have a chance at preventing him from scoring in the paint. And he makes the first. And Greg, even with teams daring Giannis to shoot from outside, his career three-point percentage stuck below 30%. And still an elite scorer because of his proficiency at the rim. But it's been said before, if he adds the triple, he'll be truly unguardable. He's perfect from the line this time. And Giannis' journey GA is so incredibly compelling. A full-length movie made about his and his brother's path to the NBA. Well, you hear that saying, my life is like a movie. Never truer than for Giannis. It's been an odyssey for the Greek freak. Jackson trying to break free. The offensive rebound. Bucks leading by three. Middleton the pass to Holiday. At the top of the key, Lopez. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. Defense really unable to stop it. Lopez very dangerous from that spot. Here's Duarte. Back to heel. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Halliburton, that's good. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. For Milwaukee, they've gone four of five from the field so far. Back to Holiday. Clock at four. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. Boy, Holiday's a strong guard, does not mind mixing it up at all. He can play physical if he needs to. Heel kicks to Halliburton. In the corner, it's healed. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. A big part of two Sacramento blockbuster trades. Buddy Heald went from New Orleans to Sacramento in the DeMarcus Cousins trade. And Clark for Heald, six years later, he was part of the Kings Pacers mega trade. Yeah, Kevin, that one sent DeMontis Sabonis to Sacramento. Heel showed his value as a player night in and night out in Sacramento, and that break, created the trade value that allowed him to be moved for good players. He's actually one of the best shooters you can find in the league, in my opinion. Free throw drops for Heel. And very quietly, Heald is one of the best three-point shooters in our league, as dangerous as they come. He hits both from the strike. Just solid, really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Bounce pass, Holiday. And Matthews kicks to Holiday. Passes it to Lopez. 
Wants to get it to under the Kumbo and does. Set him up well there. Brooke Lopez showing his vision and willingness as a passer. Pacers trail by four. Healed outside. Pass to Duarte. Over Middleton. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Great job of crashing the offensive glass. He stayed with him. That's hard-nosed, tough basketball. Giannis kicks to Holiday. And the pass to Middleton. Pass to Lopez. Back to Middleton. From downtown. That one, no good. And so it's Halliburton who brings up the ball for the Indiana Pacers. Trailing by two. Passes it to Orte. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Lots have gone six of eight in the game so far. A very solid start for them. Count that bucket. You know, Drew Holiday has so many great attributes, but I think maybe perhaps the best one is his mindset. He's even killed. He competes at a high level, and he never backs away from a challenge. Here's Halliburton after Drew Holiday's score. Halliburton finds heel. Unloads from 13. Turner for three. And the three ball is good. Turner's got five points so far. Really like it when Turner squares up from outside because he's got a sweet stroke. And because of his size, hard for defenders to get to the shot. And it also stretches the floor, which is good for his team. Count that one. Eight points for him. You know, the turnaround jumper, guys, is one of those shots that always just looks so good. I mean, it's got that nice, smooth, singular motion. Sweet. So the Pacers call timeout their first of the game. He is the epitome of a season veteran. Drew Holiday has performed at a high level no matter what uniform he's had on. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Bobby Portis has checked in for Lopez. Pat Connaughton comes in for Chris Middleton. Grayson Allen's checked in for Wesley Matthews. And it's Hill in for Drew Holiday. Now here's Neesmith. Pass to Tice. Here's Matherin. Back to Tice for the three. That's no good. Misses his first shot of the night. Bucks leading by three. Left side, Portis. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And about Drew Holiday, he's got that championship mentality. No doubt about it, Greg. I mean, he established that with the Bucks winning the title that late in your career, especially after the career he's had, it's got to feel good. I mean, by far, one of the hardest workers in the game, Drew Holiday. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Allen passes to Hill. Outside Portis. The feed to Allen. The pass to Connaughton. There's the lob. And the Kumbo. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Here's McConnell. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul. That one on Hill. Way to attack there and then create the contact. Really as close as you can get to an and one right there. He almost had it. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for Milwaukee. I, I like how they've worked the ball inside, getting looks closer in there, and that really helps your offense. I would like to highlight, too, guys, the excellent passing they've done early on. I mean, they've done a really good job putting the ball into the hands of guys ready to shoot it. Wow. What, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. And the Pacers finished 25 and 57 last season. Their worst record since the mid-80s. Indiana deciding to go young. And with that comes growing pain. Pacers trail by five. Pass to McConnell. And here is Neesmith. Passes to Matherin. Defense! 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 
Shot clock at six. McConnell finds Tice. From beyond the arc. The rebound by the Bucks. And last season a tough one, Indiana, with their lowest winning percentage, Greg, in over 30 years. Yeah, but I loved how they approached the end of the season. Bringing in Tyrese Halliburton, playing a lot of the younger players, planning for the future. Offensive rebound. Here's Antetokounmpo. Up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. You know, gifted with what seems to be a limitless reach. The Greek freak can get to offensive rebounds that most others only think about getting to. And the Pacers call time here. The Pacers still looking to find their way a bit. Struggled last year in Rick Carlisle's return. But I think the future is bright. Ended up near the bottom of the Eastern Conference, but they've got some nice young pieces to, to build around. McConnell still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Bataze the pass to Matherin. Pass to Neesmith. Five on the clock. Step back shot and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. You know about Indiana, the Pacers, a young team that's still looking for a leader. Yeah, they're in growth mode right now. Clearly a team in transition, but that's not always bad. I mean, I love some of their young pieces, and I'm excited to see what this team can look like in a year or two. He's off on the first. And the Bucks are on a tremendous run here. The, the most consecutive playoff appearances since that streak they had back from 1980 to 91. And he sinks the second. Greg, and back to the Bucks. The question is, how much longer do you think is their window? That's just it, Kevin. They've got the players to win now. And that has to be the attitude moving forward. They're built to do it again. Just need to push all the right buttons. And the wide open shot from Connaughton. Off target from outside. One thirty-nine left in the first quarter. Here's Matherin, defended by Allen. Tries again, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. First, got to box out on the boards. When you don't, that's what happens. For Indiana, they have been after free throws in this one, going three of six so far. Milwaukee with the ball. Three-point lead. Hill passes to Allen. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Now the pass to Hill. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First personal. You know, when you think about the all-time greats in Milwaukee Bucks history, I mean, two names come right to mind at the top of the list. Lou Alcindor, also known now as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and Giannis Antetokounmpo, the Greek freak.
That free throw missing. Clark, both Kareem and Giannis Antetokounmpo are greats in their own unique respective right, aren't they? Yeah, I agree with you, Kevin. I mean, forces of nature, both of those guys. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with the iconic and unmatched sky hook which was a lethal weapon. And then Giannis Antetokounmpo. I mean, you think about his athleticism, his speed, his ball handling skills at seven feet tall is something we've not quite seen. Both of those guys had similar impact in their uniqueness and their championship caliber mindsets. Now, here's Neesmith. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Tice kicks to McConnell. No good off the back of the rim. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Pass to Connaughton. Here's Portis. Down low. Here's Allen. And it's Matherin with the rebound. And, and that's really just not heads up basketball. Don't try a fadeaway when nobody's guarding you. Another shot. Rebound, Milwaukee. Andre DeCumbo's got his sixth rebound on the night. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Defense has Giannis well covered, but he gets physical right back and draws the foul in the act of shooting. The Bucks shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempt for the game right here. First one falls for him. He is creeping up in those all-time conversations. Giannis has won regular season and finals MVP plus defensive player of the year. Quite the resume, and he is not done for a while, folks. So he hits one of two from the strike. Giannis on the Kumba. He's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Milwaukee. He made his mark in a big way on the boards in that quarter. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Let's start making some noise, Milwaukee. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And what stands out to you from the Bucks in this one? aggressive at running guys to the backboard. You could tell it was part of their game plan coming in. Yeah, and you know, when a team establishes an edge on the glass early, it really sets things up for the rest of the game. Holiday and Allen have guard duties. Pat Connaughton is out there with Chris Middleton, and it's Lopez in at the center locking down the middle. So that's who Milwaukee starts the second with. Here's Heald after Drew Holiday's score. Pass to Orte. Launches a three. Hits the three-point five. RJ's got five. Gets the shot he wants. The defense wasn't quite connected enough. They lost contact. Allen against Heald. And Middleton kicks to Connaughton. The Bucks working the ball around. It's Allen with the drive. Back to Connaughton. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. The shot by Holiday, no good. Pacers trail by four. On the wing, heel. No good on the triple. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Here's Allen. Uses the glass to finish the lane. And different games, different officials. Something that might be called a foul in one game, Greg, may not be called in the next as a player. How do you adjust to that? It's a great question, and that's part of being a veteran. I learned early on, you actually scout officials the same way you scout the players. They have tendencies as well. I mean, he makes plays like that in his sleep. The game is just far too easy. 
you know, most NBA first round picks are one and done guys. But, but Chris Duarte took a different path, starting his collegiate career in junior college. Wesley Matthews checked in for the Bucks. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. And Greg, when Chris Duarte got drafted in 2021, he was 24 years old. Okay, how about that, Kevin? The oldest first-round pick in almost 20 years. Duarte showed maturity during his first year. Great defense. Not someone you have to spend a ton of time developing. Now, here's Connaughton. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And that one's good by Lopez. Lopez is really dangerous as a shooter if you give him space to catch and then shoot. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks very much, Kevin. Well, of course, Giannis is the Bucks' leader, but it's still Coach Bud who calls the shots. Giannis says, as players, we have to accept Coach's plan. We've got to trust. That's the only way it's going to work. And sometimes it won't. Sometimes I'm going to execute the game plan, and sometimes I'm not. Not because I don't want to, but it's just not my day. Kevin, that is very, very good perspective. <laughs> Agreed. Thanks, David. Getting another opportunity here to see that powerful rejection. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Halliburton. And the centerpiece of that Sabonis trade last year, Halliburton looks like a future star. So consistent and mature for a young guy, Greg. That's what jumps off the page at me. Knockdown shooter, clever playmaker, and continues to. to put the work in to get better every year and bring his teammates with him. And the first one drops. Greg, looking back at the 2021 draft, I'm still shot. Tyrese Halliburton fell to 12th. My goodness. What a steal Halliburton has been. He broke his wrist in college. And that scared some teams away. But boy, Tyrese has been awesome in the NBA. And so he makes both from the line. Halliburton has lots of skills you love to see from a young guard. Boy, I tell you what, he's got a bright future. Love watching this young man play. Back to Holiday. And the call is going to be, oh, yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Turner passes Duarte. Jackson with it. Halliburton on the wing. Guarded by Holiday. They grab their own miss. And the dunk by Jackson. Jackson. When he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for him. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? And you know, those second chance opportunities can be game changing. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. Here is Matthews. The Pacers making the shot. Takes a three. And it's Brooke Lopez with the foul. That's his third foul of the game. Third personal foul. Third team foul. And so it's Turner with it. He brings it up for Indiana. Trailing by two. Pass to heel. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Middleton up top. He's covered by Halliburton. And Middleton kicks to Holiday. And there's the pass to Connaughton. Trying to get open is Lopez. Milwaukee, no good that time either. 
for Indiana. They've gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Here's Jackson. That ball. Nice Isaiah speed that Jackson. time from Turner. Jackson's got it all tied up now for the Pacers. Halliburton against Howard. Pass to Matthews. The kick out to Holiday. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. Matthews has a nice feel, guys, for when a teammate has a clean look, gets him the ball. Here's Duarte. He's got eight. Healed. Bounce pass. Turner inside. Lopez is there. He can't get that one. Milwaukee's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter. So that one good for two. Now it's a four-point Milwaukee lead. And nice to watch Matthews rise up with confidence. Superb at getting good position close to the rim. The shot's good from Halliburton. Halliburton. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. Passes it to Connaughton. Back to Holiday. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Lopez against Turner. A good chance here for Connaughton. They get it again. For Indiana, they've gone 5 of 8 from the floor here in the second quarter. Over 60% shooting. Duarte shot good. Sweet dime that time from Halliburton. This combo guard has really impressive floor awareness, folks. Pass to Connaughton. Here's Matthews. Trains it from nine feet away. And the Bucks lead by two. Challenging the bigger defender, cutting him down to size with that one. Well, the size mismatch is no problem for this fella, guys. I mean, how much do you like seeing that aggressiveness from him? Healed the pass to Halbert. Outside Jackson. Tries from 10. Lopez with the block. Lopez showing off the length there to get to that shot. Over to the wing. And here is Connaughton. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Bobbed up there for Lopez. Bruh. Those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. And Turner kicks to Halliburton. Indiana needs to get a shot off. And the basket is good. Turner. Turner's got seven points in the game. This is all you can do. I mean, Turner's height, length, skill level, and he's got confidence now. That all allows him to score under pressure. Now here is Holiday. 11 points in the game. Connaughton with it. And the three off target. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing. And, you know, you can he sense is. his frustration. Well, this is going to be a test of his resolve here. What a gifted shooter. He is especially dangerous from the corner. And here's Matthews. Following the three-pointer by Buddy Heal. Back to Matthews. That shot, no good. And Indiana will go the other way with it. And the Pacers have been one of those teams that they're allergic to rebuilding. But there's clearly a youth movement in Indy. And, and with young talents like Tyrese Halliburton and Ben Matherin, they already boast some nice building blocks. Now here's Turner. Jackson misses. Now here's Middleton, the pass to Connaughton. A holiday. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Second person. It's going to be on Isaiah Jackson. There you see how tough Holiday is. He simply pressed and forced the issue there. They got the defense to overcommit. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Pacers. We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting it well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. And, you know, in no time at all, they've also started finding points inside, already taking apart that interior defense. 
Mark, if you take a look at the superstars on this Bucks team, they are extremely selfless. Yeah, they really are. That's one of their great attributes. They just want to win. The pieces fit well together. Doesn't matter how they do it, who does it. They're all in it to win championships. A total team mindset. Looking at who's out there now for the Bucks. Bobby Portis has checked in for Chris Middleton. Grayson Allen comes in for Wesley Matthews. And George Hills subbed in for Pat Connington. Well, here we are, Greg, looking at the Indiana Pacers. They've been looking for a star player to lead the way. Have they found it? It's so tough for the small market teams like them to acquire this type of talent. They know they have to draft well and develop their players within the program. Hopefully, they'll be able to mold some of these young ones into stars moving forward. McConnell against Hill. McConnell passes to be Johnson. Now, here's Neesmith. Shoots. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Lopez has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Kept alive. Here's Portis. Banked in off the glass. And the Bucks lead by three. And, and that's a great play on the backboard for him. I mean, it's what we expect. All his second chance points do not come by accident. Now, here's McConnell. Here's Neesmith. From outside, off the mark. For Milwaukee, they've gone 8 of 14 in the second quarter on field goal attempts. Portis, the pass to Holiday. Outside Hill. The shot by Holiday, no good. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. You love it when a big man has those soft hands. Rarely any problem converting that close to the rim. Pacers have shot 70% from the free throw line tonight. 7 for 10. Giannis, he's checked in for Brooke Lopez. One shot. Here's Hunter Tacumbo. He's got 11. Outside Holiday. Loads it up for Giannis. Yes, yes. and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got his fourth assist in this one. Pass to Matherin. Now, here's Neesmith. Defended by Allen. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call it. Now here is Holiday. He's got 13. Two minutes remaining in the On the wing, yeah. Two minutes. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First person. Man, that was a remarkable pump fake from Antetokounmpo. I mean, he's really good at selling that shot fake. This is his third trip to the free throw line. throw good Giannis No good on the second free throw. Pacers trail by three. Passes it to Matherin. One forty-three left to play in the first half. 
Tice. And the Pacers can't get it to go. And so it's Holiday with it. They'll bring it up for the Bucks. Allen passes to Hill. And here is Portis. Holiday up top. The Bucks working the ball around. And it's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. left in the second quarter and that one is good tonight we're seeing what holiday's capable of he's a total team guy wants to set up other people but he can also carry the offensive load if called upon it is Vitadze six points for him pass to Matherin four on the clock here's McConnell a put back it's good on the putback. Vitadze has got five points in the quarter. Uh, hard work and soft hands, guys. That, that's what made that play possible. No simple offensive rebound there. Going for the tip in. But that's the way to go if you've got good position. Now here is Hill. The pass to Portis. Allen for three. The Pacers pull it in. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Vitadze. Pass to Matherin. The rebound by the Bucks. Giannis has got seven rebounds in the game. Steps back and shoots. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. Well, it has been on display for the Milwaukee Bucks. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Chris Middleton. Chris, a big effort from you guys in the first half. How do you keep that momentum going? Come out with energy, you know, just try to keep pushing the ball and uh, get stops. We know that's coach's emphasis, Chris. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. What a game it's been for Drew Holiday. He ended up with 15 points, four assists, and one rebound. He came in with something to prove tonight after having a very tough outing in their last game. Kenny, your thoughts on the Bucks' first half? They run this offense seamlessly. Each guy seems to understand his role. They're making smart decisions for the basketball, and I can give a shout out to the playmaker. This team's success is because of you, brother. And over to you, big fella. Your thoughts on the Pacers' first half? Well, they need to turn the heat up on D. Too often we saw them back on the hill, not dictating the pace. They allowed a shooting percentage in the high 50s. Remind me of my free throw percentage, the high 50s. Come on, guys. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. As we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. An exceptional performance from Drew Holiday. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. And so in the game for the Pacers, they've got Miles Turner. Buddy Heald is out there with Hellebert. And it's Duarte in at the small forward. Now here's Middleton. Holiday left side. A three ball. It's rebounded by Indiana. 
Turner's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And there's no question, Miles Turner is one of the NBA's best shot blockers. Kevin, he's led the league multiple times in block shots. And if you look at his per-game averages, man, very impressive. I think he's put himself in the conversation for one of the most prolific shot blockers of all time if he can sustain it for a few more years. Milwaukee making a switch. Lopez is checked in. One drops. He ties it up. Here's Giannis. Kicks to Matthews. Holiday looking for an opening. Passes it to Lopez. Holiday dishes to Hatsutakumbo. The rebound by Halliburton. The pace is shooting in this game 45%. Here's Duarte, defended by Middleton. Here's Halliburton, connects on the nine-footer. Halliburton's got the lead up to two now for the Pacers. Halliburton always relentless in attacking, making it tough for the defense to find a way to contain it. Middleton finds Holiday. Back to Middleton. From the low block. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's going to be on Miles Turner. For Milwaukee, they have had 12 attempts at the line, making eight so far. And just to mention, a season ago, they were very comfortable at the line, hitting about 78% of their free throws. And the first one at the line is good. Jackson is checked in for Goga. He tags it. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. Third quarter of basketball. About a minute and a half in. Outside Jackson. Pass to Turner. On the wing. Heel. Six on the shot clock. Pulls up. Rebound. Giannis on to Kumbo. On to the Kumbo. He's got eight rebounds in this game. Here's Middleton, and the rejection by Jackson. Middleton against Halliburton. And there's the call on Giannis Antetokounmpo. That is his first foul of the game. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. Reads the play well there and gets himself in the air at just the right time. Terrific denial. Here's Halliburton. He's got nine. It's going by to Jacumbo. Well, that was a superb read defensively. He jumped right into the passing lane the instant the ball left the passer's hand. Inside. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. The Pacers have been shooting right around 75% of the line, 9 of 12 so far. 
Yeah, and, and fairly decent a season ago, about 77% from the line. Portis, he's checked in for the Bucks. Bucks trail by three. Holiday, the pass to Middleton. And the rejection by Jackson. There's the lob to Jackson. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Shoots from 12. Nice shot by Portis. Portis has got six. I tell you what, he clearly is one of the best players in the league who does not get the same kind of gas that other guys do. But there's no better all-around guard in the NBA than Drew Holiday. Here's Duarte, who's got 13. A second-chance effort. Shots good by Turner. Turner. Turner's got the lead up to three now for the Pacers. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. you got to work harder on the glass. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. And back in 2021, Miles Turner put up a crazy stat line. Seven made threes, 13 rebounds, and three blocks. Just the fourth time someone has reached those numbers in a game. To the paint. And Matthews kicks to Middleton. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And for Turner, Greg, that ridiculous line has been equaled by only two players ever. Hey, Kevin, how about that? Only Carl Anthony Towns and Vince Carter who've had the combination of threes, rebounds, and blocks. Shows you how special Turner's all-around game is. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Middleton. And the picture of consistency, Chris Middleton is like a metronome. Gives you 20 points over five rebounds and assists every year. Middleton hits them both. And one reason for Middleton's consistency, he plays at his own pace. And, and that's a great point, Kevin. And with, with his size and shooting touch, he doesn't need to blow by his man to score. All about getting oh, to Turner. his spots. How about that wonderful floater he has? Showing off an exquisite touch. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Now, here's Matthews. In the corner, Middleton with it. Port is trying to free himself. And Middleton, the bucket on the assist by Matthews. Middleton really is an amazing shooter. Absolutely amazing, especially from long distance. Healed outside. There's the pass to Turner. Halliburton outside. Wow, drew the contact, and that three almost went in, so he'll go to the line for three free throws. Pacers have shot 10 of 13 from the free throw line. Halliburton taking three shots. good on the free throw. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Second free throw, no good. And he misses all three. 
Milwaukee's gone one and two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Middleton the pass to Connaughton. Bucks passing it around. Holiday finds Portis. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It goes on Tyrese Halliburton. It's his first trip to the line. At the line for the Bucks, Bobby Portis. At the line for two. Shooting two. No good on that one. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. Not an A-plus trip to the line, but he did get them the lead. Halliburton outside. Jackson with the bounce pass. Pass to heel. Let's it go with a three. They get it back. For Milwaukee, they've gone two of six from the field here in the third. And Antetokounmpo slams it in. There are nights that Antetokounmpo can reach a level few have in NBA history. The MVP feeling it tonight. Now here's Heald. Five points in the game. Here's Halliburton. Up and in on the way. Halliburton's got 11 points. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Middleton outside. Back to Holiday. Fires the three. And another three for Milwaukee. That's a nice up-tempo play from Holiday. Got the rock and didn't waste any time finding the shot. Pass to Halbert. They kick out to heel. Launches it. Knocks down the three ball. He He's got eight. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. That one goes in. You know, Holiday is one of those rare guards who's as physical as any other player on the floor. Holiday busting it up inside. And the Pacers call time here. One of the stories here, Drew Holiday getting it done today. You know, that defense is helpless right now. I mean, he's got their number, and he knows it. Check in for Indiana. Brissett comes in for Jackson. O'Shea Brissett. Halliburton kicks to heel. Pass to Duarte. Pocket six. And it's Connaughton with the rebound. Bucks leading by three. Here's Middleton and another basket for Milwaukee. Yeah, you know, when you shoot the ball as well as Middleton does, you want to be hungry and looking for your shots. I mean, shot hungry is a good thing when you've got the stroke that he has mid-range and long distance. Now here's Heald. Eight points for him. Smith for three. Rebound Giannis and Kumbo. Ball's knocked loose. Holiday, the pass to Connaughton. Back to Holiday. Giannis outside. Takes the three. It's good from long range. And now an eight-point Bucks lead. Always good to see Giannis get his teammates involved because he knows he can't do it alone. The pass to Smith. Healed outside. Looking to end the run. He doesn't hit that one. And Milwaukee will come the other way. Pass to Portis. Over Smith. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First personal foul. Fourth team foul. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Bucks. Well, you know, they've been tremendous, I think, when it comes to sharing the basketball. You know, getting guys involved on the plays and creating offensive opportunities for everybody. Equal opportunity offense is fun to watch. 
And you can't ignore how often they've been able to get to the free throw line, getting a lot of points from the charity strike. Free throw, good. Portis. Allen's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. So an entirely new group in now for Indiana. And Portis drains both of them. Pacers trail by 10. Passes to Matherin. Here's Neesmith. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Holiday. To the middle. Here's Middleton. Nice pass. Nice catch. And a resounding dunk. I like seeing Middleton throw it down like that. Boy, he's a great athlete, and he finishes with a little style, too. Pass to Neesmith. Tice against Portis. Here's McConnell. Trains it from nine feet away. Sensational ball movement there. When you pass the ball like that, good things happen. Outside Holiday. And there's the pass to Portis. Now here's Connaughton. And the rejection by Smith. Here's Matherin, and he takes that one up and powers it through. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. I tell you what, if he's got a few more of those in him, this lead will really start shrinking. Now here's Allen. Back to Connaughton. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on it. Here's McConnell. Here's Matherin. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Bucks leading by 11. Pass to Connaughton. Bucks passing it around. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. This is his second trip to the line in this one. And some changes here for the Bucks. Brook Lopez is checked in for Bobby Portis. And it's Hill in for Drew Holiday. And a change for the Pacers. Mitadze is checked in. What's up? At the line for one. Middleton so highly productive and consistent. A steady contributor night in and night out. Passes it to Matherin. Smith feeling it out a bit. Pass to Tice. Over Middleton. Rebounded by the Bucks. Middleton's got his fifth rebound in this one. Connaughton finds Hill. Lopez. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Looking for Allen and gets it there. That one wide left. Pacers trail by 14. The one thing you got to love about Grayson Allen is his confidence. For sure. And every good player has great confidence. And with Grayson, it shows up beyond the arc. I mean, we've watched him naturally morph into a volume three-point shooter. Every team values having a guy like him because he can really stretch the floor and create good spacing for your offense. And so it's Indiana with it, following the bucket by the Bucks. Here's McConnell, Smith, and Smith slams it home. And I gotta say, sort of surprising he goes for a slam that difficult when they're trailing. Mm -hmm, but, but still, a magnificent move to the rim. I don't care what the score is there, fellas. That's the play we'll remember from this game, clearly. I'm glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. And even down big, the effort and energy is still there to try and make a comeback. Here in the third, he's really started to heat up from the perimeter. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. After in passes to Tice. There's 45 seconds left to play here in the third. Five to shoot. Fires the three. 
Hill pulls it in. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. He'll maintain in his balance there. That's a tough and one finish by the fundamentally sound guard. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. Matthews, he's checked in for Pat Connington. On a heel, he's checked in for the Pacers. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. Pacers trail by 20. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Here's Matherin. Now the pass to McConnell. Just five to shoot. Tries it from nine. And the jumper falls for him. McConnell's got five now. Five seconds left in the third quarter of the game. From deep. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so it's Milwaukee with an 18 point lead as the quarter comes to a close. They've excelled in the open court. Their transition game has allowed them to build this healthy lead. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. And so it's Halliburton who brings up the ball for Indiana. It's an 18-point game. So with Holiday sitting on the bench, this is Mike Budenholzer's lineup. Giannis and Lopez hold down the post for him. Hill is out there with Allen, and it's Matthews in at the three spot. Four on the shot clock. Healed from outside. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Antetokounmpo's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So accurate. They get it back. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And that is just a superb effort from Antetokounmpo on the backboard. I mean, throwing himself on the glass and coming up with a lot of key rebounds. Milwaukee making a switch. Holiday's checked in. Chris Duarte's checked in for the Pacers. Shooting one. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. And the free throw, no good. Pacers trail by 20. And it's Halliburton penetrating, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. Shooting for Indiana, Tyrese Halliburton. At the line for two. And he knocks down the first one. <laughs> Halliburton hits them both. Bucks leading by 18. There's the lob at the Kumbo. And the Greek freak, well, I tell you, certainly gets the green light. I mean, from that position especially. He's really developed into a nice score from that spot on the floor. The Pacers are shooting pretty well at 46% from the floor. Healed outside. Holiday against Halliburton. 
Here he goes. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Personal foul. How about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Shooting one. Good from Halbert. Milwaukee has gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight, just a little over 40%. Matthews against Teal. And Matthews gets it to go. And the Bucks lead by 19. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. Here's Duarte. Shot by Heel. Nobody around. Good on the triple. And this is how confident Heel is. Knows he's capable of torching the D off the catch. Onto Takumbo. Passes to Matthews. Good, and the assist goes to Giannis. Adetokounmpo's got four assists in the game. And that's almost automatic anytime he can get the ball in that position. Now here's Heald. Pass Duarte. Six to shoot. Off target with his three. Bucks leading by 18. It's Matthews on the wing. Kicks it out to Al. Second shot opportunity. And that one's good by Lopez. Yeah, bully ball in his way to the rack that time. Lopez with a great second effort. Pacers trail by 20. Healed outside. Here's Brissett. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. That's exactly how it should be done. Get the ball, concentrate on the shot, and you'll get the bucket too. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Milwaukee. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. Holiday, the pass to Allen. And here is Connington. Here's Hansa Takumbo. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. And the ball handling to Hansa Takumbo. My goodness, really unreal. For a guy his size, his dribbling is ridiculous. Now, here is Halliburton. Here's Duarte, outside Turner. And the Pacers can't get it to go. Halliburton against Holland. Passes it to Allen. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Trying to get open is Lopez. A nice shot there by Antetokounmpo. Giannis has got eight here in the quarter. Pacers trail by 21. Healed outside. The pass to Brissett. Some nice passing here by Indiana. At the top of the key, Halliburton. Just five on the clock. To the inside. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Fourth personal foul. Fourth team foul. Shooting for Indiana. Chris Duarte. Taking two shots.
The first one falls. Jackson, he's checked in for Indiana. Good on the second, so he makes them both. Bucks leading by 19. Allen outside. Pass to Lopez. Andre Kumbo trying to break loose. And it goes out of bounds. That one off turn. They're walking ball. Here's Holiday, good for his ninth make in just 12 shots. That's an even 75% shooting. Confident shooting from Holiday there. Finds a shot he likes and sinks it, even if it is the mid-range, which goes in the face of analytics these days. But I like that mid-range, Jay. Now here's Heald. Just four to shoot. Releases. Milwaukee with the rebound. Andre de Kumbo's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Allen. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Halliburton passes to Heald. Here's Duarte. He's defended by Connaughton. And once again off the mark by Indiana. Bucks leading by 23. For the basket, his fifth of the game. He's missed six shots against those five makes. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. Now here's Heald. To the paint. Well-timed pass, Heald. and he goes straight to the Let's bucket for the layup. Two. A guy Chris like Buddy out-hustles other players on the floor. He gets inside, and there he finishes strong. Back to Holiday. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. And then, guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call it. Looking at who's out there now for the Bucks. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for Lopez. Antetokounmpo comes in for Antetokounmpo. Joe Ingles, he's checked in for Allen. And it's Carter in for Drew Holiday. And smart decision by Hill. Surveys the defense and then just takes it himself. Milwaukee leading by 21. Pass to Connaughton. Pass to Antetokounmpo. And the rejection by Jackson. Heald left side. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Impressive display of focus there from Heald. Never lost sight of the rim. And Milwaukee with a whole new lineup now. The Pacers also changing it up. Miles Turner, he's checked in for Smith. Chris Duarte comes in for Taylor. And Halliburton subbed in for Neesmith. that one. Milwaukee's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Here's Holiday. That one off the back iron and out. Pacers trail by 19. The pass to Orte. Healed against Anadokounmpo. Feeds it to Turner. The jump hook. They kick out to heel. This one for three. The rebound by Holiday. Holiday's got his fifth rebound in this one.
inside. And there's Lopez. That's good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got his eighth assist in the game. Pass to Orte. Back to Halliburton. The feed to Turner. Outside for Halliburton. Over Holiday. Score the basket. It's number six for him this game. Six for nine. 67% shooting. Tyrese Halliburton so capable of playing multiple positions and roles for this team. And tonight, he's embraced me in the score. Now here is Holiday. A shot by Middleton. Wide open. And a miss there on the triple. Passes it to Heal. Pass to Turner. Count the basket. And all of a sudden, things finally coming together for them. The deficit's still large, but now not insurmountable. That kind of deficit, I think they're going about it the right way. I mean, they've got to get aggressive on defense. They need stops. And then you've got to take care of the basketball at the other end so you get a good shot every trip. Halliburton up top. On the wing, heel. So he'll shoot two here. Wesley Matthews picks one up. And playing four years of college often hurts your draft status, but they got healed ready for the NBA. And by his second year, he's one of the team's best starters. Throw drops for Heal. Both free throws good from Heal. Bucks leading by fifteen. Middleton outside. And the pass to Matthews. Back to Middleton. Three-pointer. Gets in and good for his sixth field goal in ten attempts. Rhythm and timing so important in the game of Hoop. Middleton using both on that pull-up jumper. Halliburton kicks to heel. Here's Duarte. Defended by Middleton. remaining in the game. Shoots from 12. Torte shot good. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. On to Takumbo. Passes to Matthews. Middleton dishes to Giannis. Trying to get open his hook. And there it is for him. Giannis has got 10 points now just in this quarter. Healed outside. And here's Halliburton. Outside Jackson. Down to five on the shot clock. Over onto to Kumbo and misses it off the right side of the rim. Coming out here tonight and making a statement. Really good work all around for the Bucks. Starting five must have been happy to get so much help from the reserves in this game. And they not only lightened the load, the subs did nothing less then guarantee a win. And we watched him all night long. No one could really stop him. Just another excellent game it was for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Boy, I liked how he mixed it up on the glass. Wasn't afraid to get in there and do the dirty work. Showed some real grit and toughness tonight. And so here is Indiana following the miss by Brooke Lopez. Here's Duarte. Jackson down low, covered by Giannis. Off target with the free throw line, Jay. And so Giannis will bring it up for the Bucks. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. Matthews passes to Giannis. 13 feet away. 
Duarte grabs the board. And here are the Pacers now. They're on a 16-7 run. And it's Halliburton missing. Giannis against Halliburton. Onto the Kumbo, looking it over. So no problem for Milwaukee as they get the win. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Uh, I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. And we'll see you again. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Giannis, you have said in the past you have even more untapped potential, so how did you put your fingerprints on this game? I'm just here to do whatever it takes to help my team win. Did a great job executing, moving the ball, and uh, this is what we do. This is what we do. We play together, and uh, whatever we do, hopefully we can get a win at the end of the day. Well, it certainly turned into a win tonight, man. Thanks. Back to you guys. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Ulm, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you later.